Pakistan economy is in doldrums. The new government that comes to power in the next few days will have to rebuild the country's $350 billion economy, battling high inflation, unstable currency and low foreign exchange reserves. There are three major parties in play in this poll fray and then there is the Pakistan army pulling the strings in the background. On one hand, there is PMLN's 74-year-old veteran politician and three-time Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif. And on the other side is the youngest hopeful and Bhutto Sayan, 35-year-old Bilawal Bhutto Zadari. General Asim Munir is said to be in favour of the tried and tested hands of Nawaz Sharif, who recently returned from self-exile in London. Standing against him as a strong contender is Pakistan People's Party Chairman Bilawal Bhutto Zadari. He was pushed into the political fray as a teenager in 2007 after his mother Benazir Bhutto's assassination. Nearly two decades later, the Oxford-educated politician won a parliamentary seat in his first contest in 2018, followed by a 16-month stint as Foreign Minister until August 2022. The heir of his mother's party and political dynasty hopes to ride on youth and his mother's loyal vote bank in Sindh region. On the other side is the former Pakistani Prime Minister and legendary cricketer Imran Khan now jailed on corruption charges. In the run-up to the election, cornered Pakistan Tehrike Insaf used AI to make an audio clip to address an internet virtual rally generated from text Imran Khan had written from prison. The four-minute audio message, marred by internet disruptions, was played over an AI-generated image which appeared to be speaking. Art Faruri ko jald vote dalne ka mansuba banaye, aur phir polling station par apne vote ki hifazat ko yakini banaye. अगर आप बड़ी तादाद में बाहर आते हैं तो हमारे हारने का कोई रास्ता नहीं है इंशा अल्लाह पीटीआई रिकॉर्ड वोट हासिल करेगी और वाजह अक्सरियत से इलेक्शन जीतेगी मैं अपनी कौम को बताना चाहता हूं कि जिंदगी और मौत इज्जत जल्लत अल्लाह के हाथ में है उसलिए किसी से न डरें और 8 फरवरी को बड़ी तादाद में वोट डालने का इरादा करें पाकिस्तान जिंदाबाद Pakistan averted a debt default with an IMF bailout last summer. Its law and order situation is in a questionable mayhem, where in spite of heavy security, two blast near electoral candidates offices in Pakistan's southwestern province of Balochistan on the day before the country cast its mandate killed 26 people and several were injured. It is in a hopeless electoral state. नहीं ये को मन का भी जोर डाको ही आएंगे दोबारा से ठीक है अपनी जेब में भरेंगे बस यही कर सकते हो आम के लिए फायदा नहीं नौजवान के लिए फायदा नहीं ना नौकरियां देते हैं सिर्फ लारे पे रखते हैं हमेशा से यही होता है कि गैर मुल्क से पाना ही हो रहे हैं तो हम उम्मीद करते हैं कि इस दफा मुल्क से पाना वोट हो ताकि हमारे मुल्क जो हमारी कौम चाहती है जिस पार्टी को वो पार्टी आए ताकि हमें एक नया हुक्मरान मिले कि हम किसी एक नए बंदे को पहचाने हर हम सुनते हैं कि धांधली हुई है कोई इतने वोटों से जीत गया जिसको नहीं दिए जाते वो उसको वोट खुद बखुद मिल जाते हैं तो चाहते हैं कि उनसे खाना हो ताकि हमारे मुल्क और कौन तरक्की करे 128 million registered voters out of 241 million strong population will decide the captain for the ship to steer them in this stupendous marshland that Pakistan has got itself moored into and the name will be declared by 9th of February morning.